In this video, we're gonna explore 10 signs that you might be lesbian, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to the very first video of the 12 Gays of Christmas. This is a series I'm doing in December. I'm posting every second day up until Christmas. You're gonna see a whole heap of gay stuff and a whole heap of Christmas stuff. So if you could do me a massive favor and make sure you're subscribed down below. If you're not subscribed, press that button right now. And if you are already subscribed, can you please make sure that the notification bell is turned on? There are so many videos coming I don't want you to miss out and you don't want to miss out either. This video is a build on my last video. Maybe you can watch this one if you haven't yet. You guys seem to really, really love this, but also there was a handful of you who were still not sure. I don't feel gay, but I'm questioning. Signs point to me being a lesbian, but I'm still questioning. I'm still not 100% sure that I'm lesbian. I'm in denial, I don't want to accept it. It's so hard for me to admit it to myself. This just confused me even more. So I am hoping that this video will clarify it up just a little bit for you and help you understand if you may be a lesbian or not. So let's start with sign number one. Let's think about when you watch TV shows and movies when you see two straight people kissing so a man and a woman do you feel grossed out by it or do you just not care at all if it makes you uncomfortable this could be a sign that you're gay i know when i think about to when i was like 12 years old and watching movies when two people kissed it was so i just wanted to hide my face i really did not like watching it but i never knew that that was a thing related to me being a lesbian even just romantic interactions in general between males and females if it makes you feel like a little bit off can be a sign number two you can't imagine yourself being in a romantic relationship with a man or getting married to a man. A kind of sub sign of this is like when you were a child, you kind of imagined getting married to a friend or you thought you would never get married at all. It just didn't cross your mind. It's something I definitely did not think about at all growing up. I never even imagined my dream wedding. It just didn't happen. But just try and think, try and imagine yourself being in the space with a man or having a boyfriend. What? gut feeling do you get inside when you think about holding hands with a man or like brushing your teeth together in the same bathroom or him sleeping in your bed next to you if that makes you feel uncomfortable then that's a hint okay <laughs> number three i feel personally attacked by this but you think you might be a late bloomer just because you haven't felt any attraction to men yet the hint is you might not be a late bloomer at all <laughs> You just might be gay. I think there was a stage I went through where I definitely thought like, oh, my friends like boys, maybe I will like them too one day, but right now I do not. <laughs> this kind of ties in with number four, but you think when your friends talk about men and their attraction to men, you think that they're over-exaggerating. You couldn't possibly understand how they could be so infatuated with men. Like maybe your friends are going like, oh my God, this person is so hot, but you're like, are they really? When I was 12 years old, a lot of my friends were obsessed with High School Musical Zac Efron. I just could not comprehend why they were so obsessed. I just didn't understand. But that's because they were attracted to him and I just did not feel that same thing. Number five, you're attracted to feminine men. So this means men that wear traditionally feminine clothing or their behaviors are more feminine. Just their whole demeanor is more feminine than it is masculine. So basically you only like men if they're more womanly. For example, I had this thing for Dan Hal when I was like 16. So this is like eight years ago. He wasn't out then, but he definitely was not your stereotypical masculine figure. I had a crush on him back then, but yeah, I don't really count it as a crush because I didn't think about him in a romantic or sexual sense. Also, my friends around the time that I was 17, 18 were kind of crushing on Troy Sivan. So this is back when Troy made YouTube videos. I don't know if any of you remember him, but I could kind of see why he was attractive because he was more feminine. So I kind of understood that one a little bit more than all of the other crushes that they had. So take a look through all your boy crushes. If they're more feminine, this could be a sign that you are gay. And this ties perfectly with number six. You're only attracted to fictional men or celebrities, people who are really unobtainable. Some examples might be your teacher, gay men, men who are already in established relationships, men who are celebrities, artists like bands and stuff, people who you just will never have a chance with. So basically you only like boys who it's impossible for them to like you back. Number seven, I'm also really guilty of this, like especially growing up, but you only notice when a guy is attractive when someone else points it out. If your friend goes, oh my God, did you see that boy? He's so hot or he's so cute or I love his hair or whatever. Nice ass, I don't know. <laughs> you don't realize until they say it and you go, oh yeah, yeah. You kind of play along with that. That is a huge sign. Please don't overlook that one. I think this is also why for a long time, 
I identified as asexual. That's where you're not attracted to anyone. That is because I knew that I wasn't attracted to men, but I didn't even think about being attracted to women. It just was like, I don't understand when people say that they're hot or they look good. I just can't relate. So don't overlook that sign. Okay, number eight, you feel like you could live, like live in a house with a woman in a romantic way, or you kind of imagine moving out with a woman, even if you can't imagine doing anything sexual with them. Just the idea of being in a space with another woman. I'm speaking from experience when I say this one, but maybe you and your best friend have this thing where you're like, oh my God, we're totally gonna move out together, live in a house together, fill it with plants and get a dog. You know, that is such a huge hint one, that you're like, you're onto something with that person and two, you could be gay. Number nine is that you think all women feel this way about other girls because you think it's a phase that everyone goes through. You think everyone kind of has girl crushes, but I assure you 100% straight people do exist and have not had these thoughts about girls. And finally, number 10, and this one, I may attack some of you guys because a lot of you have written comments about this subject in my last video. And that is please go and deep dive into all your favorite movie characters or like your TV show characters. It could be a sign that you are gay if all of your favorite characters are gay or are on the LGBT spectrum of some description or they stereotypically look or act gay. For example, Orange is the New Black, one of my, or two of my favorite characters are definitely gay. <laughs> and funny enough, turns out my favorite character in Twilight ended up being a lesbian. <laughs> Definitely have a little think about all your favorite characters and also your favorite musicians and artists. They don't have to be necessarily gay, but I remember being 16 and I had these huge crushes, but I didn't know it was a crush. I had this thing for Lana Del Rey. Like I was obsessed with her, but that's because I was crushing on her. And I was also obsessed with Kristen Stewart and that's because I was crushing on her. And also obsessed with Marina and the Diamonds, another female because I was gay, but I didn't know it yet. So if you have these obsessions with other women, whether that's a character or artist or whatever, that's a massive hint. I promise you that straight women rarely, if ever, have these massive obsessions with other female artists or, you know, celebrities. It's just a massive hint. Now I'm gonna hand it over to you guys. What are some signs that led you to knowing you were gay? Please leave them below. If you do, it's gonna help everyone else who's watching this video and like reading the comments. It helps everyone out. <sighs> Hopefully this cleared some things up. If this video helped you, please leave a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching the first 12 Gays of Christmas video. I will see you in two days. Yep, two days and I'll be back with another gay video. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye. This is such a bold statement, but thank you so much. I'm so keen for the 12 Gays of Christmas to begin. If you'd like to be involved, I'm doing a Q&A at the very end of the series. Go back to this video and leave your question there and I'll answer it.